doing something different. We're at the stove top. I'm going to be making a delicious casserole. So start by heating your oven to 350. And then you can see I'm browning a pound of ground beef. It was fairly lean. It was 93% lean. So I'm not going to drain off any of the grease. I'm going to add in some seasonings while it's browning. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of chili powder. And let's do some garlic powder. I'll do a teaspoon and a half. And we'll do salt and pepper, a teaspoon each. I'm doing kosher salt, by the way. And let's do a eighth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. It's pretty, pretty strong, so you just need a little bit. Do you love these measuring spoons? I love them because they're uh, magnetic, and they just all nest together. You, you can see the, the clean ones over here. They just nest together. You just pop off which one you want. There's no ring. I think those rings are stupid. I don't know why they make them like that. Okay. And then we're just going to stir that in, get that meat nice and seasoned. And while we're at it, I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of this um, minced onion. Or you can do a cup of um, just fresh onion that you've diced. I'm just doing this for ease today. So once that's all cooked up, by the way, this pan that I'm using is oven safe. So you're gonna wanna use a pan that's oven safe or you're gonna have to transfer the contents to a, like a baking dish. So this is oven safe up to 350. So that's nice and handy. Okay, so now we're gonna add in a 16 ounce can um, of tomato sauce. And we'll do a half a cup of paste picani sauce. Well, actually this is chunky salsa, but you can also use picani sauce. Whatever you have is fine. They're so similar. Okay. And then finally, I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit to low, or to like, I don't know, medium low. Now we're gonna add in, and I've drained this earlier, it was a can of corn, a can of green beans, and a can of um, kidney beans. Now you can use frozen or fresh green bean, bean <laughs> frozen or fresh green beans instead. You can also use frozen corn instead of canned corn. And then beans, really you can use whatever kind you like. I'm just using the kidney beans today. So we'll just wanna stir that all in. And then we're gonna kind of just let that simmer while we get our topping ready. So today we're using just the Jiffy corn muffin mix, just one box. And you're gonna mix that with the dry contents with one, one egg and one third cup of milk. So I put that together here. I'll just kind of whisk that up. And then we're gonna spoon this over the top and bake it. So, the baking time is gonna be um, I don't know, like 35 to 40 minutes. So this is a longer recipe than uh, what I usually do in the Instant Pot, but you're not gonna be able to make this in the Instant Pot just because um, it wouldn't like get nice and brown on top and it just wouldn't bake. Like the cornbread, you couldn't really put this in the Instant Pot. So I couldn't figure out how to do it in the Instant Pot, so I'm doing it in the oven and I think that's okay every now and then. All right, so let me get a spoon. Let me spoon that over the top. Let's see. I'm gonna turn this oven or the stove off. And then I'll just kind of spoon this over the top. And um, you can use two packages if you want a really thick topping on top. Um, I'm just gonna make mine thinner. 
kind of more dollops of the cornbread mixture than a thick like crust that would cover the whole thing. Um, but however you want to do it. And you can also, if you like homemade, you can make your own homemade cornbread um, batter and just use that on top. I just went for the easy stuff today. I always make cornbread on Sundays and I use the best recipe ever, um, homemade recipe. So I ideally I would have used that, <clears throat> but for sake of time, I didn't today. And I will link to that recipe if you're interested in making your cornbread on Sunday. It's it's a family tra it's become a family tradition, so it's it's really delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of just use a spatula to kind of spread it out a little bit. Like I said, it's not gonna be totally covering it. <clears throat> that's okay. Now, if you want, you can put cheese on top of this. Um, I think I'm gonna actually let it bake for a while and then sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it at the very end so it doesn't get burnt on top. Okay, we'll stick this into our oven. Like I said, I preheated it to 350. And I'm gonna put that in there. And let's set the timer. Let's start 35 minutes and go from there. All right, it's been 35 minutes, so I'm pulling this out. And if you like cheese, which we love at our house, we're gonna just sprinkle on a half cup. This was frozen, that's like clumped up a little bit there, but yeah, half cup, shredded cheddar, or whatever cheese you like. And then I'll throw it back in the oven just for a few more minutes. All right, let's get this out, see what it looks like. Okay, dinner's ready. All right, doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna put the recipe in the notes below and you can find the printable recipe on my blog, 365daysofcrockpot.com. And thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye-bye.